interested in studying ant communities and in particular how ant communities respond to the environment. And that's a really big question right now because we're interested in what's going to happen to forests as climate change occurs. And ants may not seem like the most important players in the forest, but they're actually really key to making the whole forest work. They play a lot of different roles, but one of the roles that we're interested in is gardening. And by that what I mean is some species of ants are really good at picking up plants, seeds, certain types of plants, and moving them around. And so when you go into the woods in the, winter, in the spring and you see violets and trilliums and bloodroot, those are all plants that ants move the seeds around for. And there's one particular species of ant, Aphenogasterutus, that's really good at moving seeds around. And so you can imagine if climate change makes it harder for Aphenogasterutus to survive and compete with the other ants in the community, then that may change all the plants too. And so we're interested in asking, well, what factors would contribute to changes in the ant communities? Which ant species would go up in abundance? Which ant species would go down in abundance? Would the ant species that are important for certain key processes, like planting seeds, um, change in terms of their relative abundance? Would that change the plant communities? And then how would the whole forest be impacted? And so you can see there's a lot of different questions there, and they all sort of interplay with one another. And that's one of the reasons we want to use math, is because you know you can say all these arguments in words, but to quantitatively figure out what's going to happen and you know how much one species is going to go up and how ma how much that matters in the forest, uh, what we want to do is build models and and parameterize those models with measurements from the field, and then use those models to help us to try to predict what's going to happen if the temperatures in the spring go up by two degrees, if the temperatures in the fall go up by two degrees. If the temperatures in the winter go up by two degrees, what's going to happen? How is that going to change? Um, if, if we have less precipitation, if we have drier climates, if we have wetter climates, a lot of these are unknown questions in terms of climate change research, but we can look at various scenarios and say, well, if this happens, what do we think will happen to the ant communities, and what do we think will happen to the forest as a whole?